let's talk about what I did this week. First, I went a little more blonde, but I did some work too. <laughs> let's talk about that stuff. I posted parts two and three of Snapchick Bikini 2013. Those are up on the website right now. First Sunday was this week, so I brought my trusty Nikon 1 V1 uh, up to a mountain and I went hiking and I did post some pictures on Facebook of that hike and I also posted a video where um, I talk a little bit more in depth about how I set my camera, but also I talked about uh, the pictures that I posted. I answered a viewer question in a question of the day video this week. It was about focusing. I get uh, the question, um, my camera's not focusing, you know, what do I do? I get that pretty often. So I made a video where I talk about several things that you might need to do to make sure your camera is focusing before you like send it off to the manufacturer for fixing. I've been talking to you guys lately about my focus on the image rather than the process lately. And I did another video on it. I also showed you some pictures from Black Soul Photo who is run by Joey and he sent me these pictures and I, you know, I took a look at them and, and all of his pictures were so interesting to me. I wanted to talk to you guys about them from really kind of an organic perspective because I didn't know anything about the equipment he used. I didn't know what camera he used or, or anything or even what he was going for with the pictures. I don't know what his goal was or anything, but just from someone who had never seen, you know, or never heard anything about the pictures, I talked to you guys about, you know, what I saw. One of the funnest things I did this week was take portraits of some Lego Star Wars minifigures. I went outside the box, surprise, surprise, with, with how I took the portraits because, you know, I just used what I had on hand and got creative and to create some backdrops for them. I used a couple of different cameras because I did it in a couple of different sessions. For the first three pictures that I showed you guys, I used the Canon T4i with the 40 millimeter f2.8 pancake lens. That has macro capabilities, so I was able to get you know right on top of the uh, minifigures to get you know magnification. And for the last picture that I posted, which was the Tie Fighter pilot. That one I used the Nikon 1 V1 with the 70 to 200 f2.8 lens and the FT1 adapter. With that one, uh, I was able to get a ton of magnification because I was using the V1, which is a 2.7x crop factor. So I was able to use the, the long end of the focal length, which was 200. And then it really has a relatively close focusing distance. So. I got a ton of magnification with that, that setup. For lighting for these pictures, I used my flora fluorescent lights. Um, I used them both for lighting the subject, but also as background. So like I said, I got a little creative with backgrounds for my Lego pictures. So I created, I created my backgrounds out of computer paper and a hole punch and some crayons. <laughs> so this first one, uh, no wait, let's talk about this one first. Uh, I wanted to create Cloud City for Boba Fett. So I punched all these holes in this uh, piece of paper. I put this in front of the uh, fluorescent continuous light that was behind the table and it sh it sh you know shined through all the holes and I don't know, it created a kind of a neat, you know, Cloud City like effect. And then the next one is uh, the Stormtrooper. I wanted it to look kind of like Tatooine. So Tatooine has two suns, right? So I punched two holes in the in the paper. I, I did actually color some kind of orangey on the bottom with crayon, but then I turned the pictures into black and white so you couldn't tell. But that's what I did with that one. And then what else did I do? Oh, for Darth Vader, I wanted kind of a, a Death Star look. So I actually took my uh, MacBook Pro, I turned it on its side like so, and I illuminated the keys as much as they could go. And then, I don't know, I think it kind of got, kind of got that kind of effect of, of the Death Star behind him. And then for TIE Fighter Pilot with the TIE Fighter in the background, that one, I, I did actually use the Lego TIE Fighter in the background because I have that one and it's all built up, although it's always falling apart. And um, I put the Pilot on my white MacBook which is, you know, it's white and it's kind of shiny. So I got that kind of wet ground kind of effect, which I feel like, you know, is always on, on the runway. Okay, what else did I share with you this week? I posted some landscapes, picture of my new bikinis, some food pictures, 
and I posted a rewind from a year ago. That one was really neat. It was kind of in my bathroom before it was completely done, and I was kind of experimenting with, you know, how the how the walls looked because they were totally unfinished. To keep up with the Snapchick happenings on Facebook, you can search for me as Snapchick. What's on tap for next week? Well, I've got part four of Snapchick Bikini 2013 to post. I have a lot of pictures to get through um, editing to post, as well as a video for everybody and a video for VIPs. And then I also am working on um, one or two question of the day videos. And also, what else? Oh, a review of Kendrick Peak, which I hiked a month or two ago up in Flagstaff, Arizona. That one will be a lot like my Grand Canyon review where I include, you know, lots of pictures and stuff like that. So it'll be, you know, eye candy. Talk to you guys next week.